Migrants, let's go over to New York City. New York City. Migrants, y'all know that. And then we're going to go over to the Starbucks CEO, New Pay, because y'all going to want to be a part of this. Y'all going to want to know this one. Migrants over in New York City have completely taken over. There have been women uh, and men and people, and I've been doing and seeing a lot of street interviews. Now everybody want to start to pay attention to what's happening in this, in this migrant crisis. Hey, remember when we were basically the only ones, especially when it came to um, being in this space, the morning show and everything like that, we were almost the only people that was talking about the migrant crisis. And we hit it every day. And we didn't get as much visibility as we deserved. But we was talking about the migrant crisis. Now everybody during election season want to start to participate in it. Nobody was covering it. Nobody was covering it on a consistent basis if they were covering it. Everybody wanted to stay out of the way when it came to having a conversation about the migrant crisis. And we've been covering it for years. We covered it with Lori Lightfoot. We covered it with Brandon Johnson coming into office. We covered it in New York. We've been paying attention. I was telling you all about the New York Hotel, um, the Roosevelt Hotel. Now everybody want to descend on these places to better understand what's going on with Venezuelans and the migrant crisis and all of this stuff. And give me a break. Give me a break. I've been covering this, and make sure y'all hit a like for the algorithm, subscribe to the channel, tell me in a minute. I've been covering this, and I've been saying that I even wanted to go down to El Paso and see what's happening, and I gave Governor Greg Abbott the, the greatest governor accolades in the United States of America today, and not everybody want to pay attention to what's happening over there in the migrant crisis. Okay, all right, well, now that it's too late, Let's see what's happening. So this is what's going on over in New York. Just a small snippet uh, of some of the things that we have been breaking it down for a long time now. The NYPD making their presence known in Central Park. They're beefing up patrols as we see robberies and assaults on the rise. Cash Jordan has been covering it, but Cash Jordan does not run a, a live stream in the morning show. But Cash Jordan lives in New York and he has been covering it. Shout out to Cash Jordan. The most recent incident just this morning, an 82-year-old woman was assaulted near the tennis center. And there were two robberies just hours apart earlier this week. Let's get out to Alice Gaynor. She's live. If you look at her her thing, you see the thing in the back? Where are we used to seeing that at? We're used to seeing that in Chicago. We're not used to seeing that anywhere else. Usually they give a map of multiple different robberies that they can corroborate and the same group did it here and there. We're used to seeing that map, that same type of map in Chicago. We're not used to seeing that anywhere else. So now they're starting to map it out, you know, amongst the 8 million people that live in New York. And they're saying in Central Park, look how big Central Park is. In Central Park, that the migrants is running it and they out here robbing 80 year olds, hitting them over the head, beating them up, taking people's money and their lunch money, and they running around in gangs as young as 11 years old. Or two robberies just hours apart earlier this week. Let's get out to Alice Gaynor. She's live at Central Park right now, and Alice Police held a news conference going over their plan. Look at all of them cops. Christina They're just standing there doing nothing. Hey, what is this? A church service? Why are all of them cops just standing around there chilling? That's right. You know, they started adding additional officers yesterday, but as you're about to hear, that didn't prevent a robbery from happening allegedly just feet away from police. The NYPD added 40 additional officers to the southern part of Central Park after a rise in major crimes there. And Francois and Zaire, both 20 years old, saw them last night. Where we were sitting in the park was a part of their patrol on the pathway that we were on. And while we were sitting there for those two hours, the police cars patrolled at least, I would say, under 15 times. Still, they were robbed. It all happened so fast. They say they were sitting on a bench in Central Park, editing videos just before 11 p.m., getting ready to leave. So they was content creators. Hey, listen, I don't know if they tourists. I don't know what's going on, but let me tell you something. Never edit videos in Central Park. I'm not even from New York. Why are you sitting there on a computer editing videos in Central, Mar in Central Park? I don't care how many police officers you see. And the migrants don't even care. Don't y'all remember when the migrants was beating up the police officers? The migrants was beating up the police officers. Yes, they did. And then they got out. And then the migrants, as they was getting out of prison or as they was getting out of jail, with the no bail system, illegal, they was giving the middle finger up to who are all of the reporters that was looking at them. 
when two suspects, who they describe as Hispanic teens, approached from behind. He just gets close to me and he just like rips my chains off my neck. He snatched the vapes out of our hands. They say they only had to walk about 20 feet after the incident to find an officer. The NYPD chief of patrol says so far there have been 10 similar crimes recently. This is a migrant robbery pattern. Starting tonight, he says more resources will be into play. From mounted to bike patrol, to foot patrol, to cars in the street, to drones, to our transit police. And if something does happen in this park, Hey, do y'all, uh, as we see these, these women walking with these police uniforms on, let me ask y'all a question. Do y'all feel safer now that we have women inside of the police force uh, <laughs> to help patrol? Hey, miss. Hey, 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 miss. Somebody, somebody snatched my chains. Can you go and stop those migrants? You know what else? You know what else? The true cost, because they say that they allocate in about $2 billion a year, according to Eric Adams, to address the migrant crisis in New York City alone, right? But that doesn't account for all of the additional resources that we have to divert into the migrant crisis, including, for example, the police officers. They have so much allocated towards chasing around these migrants in New York City and that don't even have nothing to do with how they're funding the migrant crisis in New York City also. Have y'all thought about that? It's almost like your compensation package. You can't go, if you ask somebody, okay, well, what's your, your, your total compensation package? Your total compensation package, according to HR, is going to be completely different than what it is that you think that the compensation package is. Because you think that the compensation package is going to be based off of how much money that you make. Your total compensation includes... Everything that it takes to keep you at the company, health care coverage, pensions, 401ks, bonuses, all of those things, unemployment insurance, your entire total compensation package is much more than whatever it is that they off you, offer you from a pay perspective. And so it's similar when we're talking about this migrant crisis over there in New York, because the total amount of money that is taken in order to manage this thing goes into sanitation, sewage, housing, health care, police people having to chase these people around, resources as far as jails, judges, prisons. When you put them inside of the jails, how long do it take and how much does it cost taxpayers in order to have this thing continue to be? Like the total compensation of what it takes to manage this thing. And they're chasing around criminals in New York City and they got their EBT and de debit cards. It's crazy park it is a large park if something does happen and we miss it we have a full-fledged apprehension plan that will go into effect francois and zaire say drones could be a good preventative tool to use more frequently as the mayor seemed to suggest on tuesday but they won't be going to central park anytime soon stay away for a little while yeah i don't <laughs> i think we're done with parks for for the meantime they might be boyfriends anyways let's let's pivot over for a second and see what you actually have to deal with as far as who the culprits are it's out here robbing and stealing and killing. You see all of these guys out here on these bikes and stuff like that? They group together. They, they practice in group economics. They believe in identity politics, too. And police now say a young crew of migrants is largely behind the surge in crime. In Central I'm focused today, y'all. I'm not even looking at these chicks right here. Have you seen these women? This woman is gorgeous. This woman is gorgeous out here in these streets. Park. In fact, one of the suspects, just 11 years old. Fox Eyes Stephanie Bertini has been on the story all day, and staff, we're wondering what the very latest is on this. So, new details. We just got images of. They keep the, they keep the bigger one out in the streets. They say the bigger one, you can't be an anchor. You can't cover all of the stories. <laughs> You got to be out in these streets, live reporting on site, on site. The other one's got air conditioning. You got to be in the streets, baby. 
two suspects police are looking for. The NYPD says these two males are connected to this young migrant this robbery pattern here in Central Park. That'd it's that'd alleged they targeted two 20-year-olds on Tuesday night and forcibly took three chains that had in a vape. This developing story includes at least 10 cases here in Central Park. The suspects, all migrants, according to police. By the entrance of Central Park at 59th and 7th, a visual police presence. It is surprising to see a lot of police. I feel like, I don't know, a police presence mostly makes me feel safe. In this video released to Fox 5 News by the NYPD, you see a group of young males believed to be migrants allegedly on their way to commit a crime. On their way to commit a crime. Hey, listen, listen. You guys are prisoners in your own cities now. You guys are prisoners in your own city, in your own public park that your tax dollars pay for. They are walking around out there with the street lights on, no curfew, as young as 11 years old with bikes and chains and guns, and they terrorizing y'all in New York City. How does it feel? Hey, wh why we can't get the other gangs to, to make sure that they get some control of what's going on in the streets? That's crazy. They are patrolling Central Park and running up on people and taking their stuff. The NYPD says a current young migrant robbery pattern is a driving force behind the increased boots on the ground here. Until we fix this, we'll be out there. NYPD Chief of Patrol John Shell says at least 10 cases are connected to young migrant suspects who he says are concentrating on the southern part of the park. Detectives say the suspects are working in groups of up to 12, targeting victims for whatever they can get. And their young kids, including an 11 year old just arrested in a different crime yesterday, connected to all this by credit cards. When he was arrested yesterday, he was on video using credit cards that were taken from the robberies in Central. Are y'all hearing this? So let me ask y'all a question. Are y'all still voting the way that y'all voting? Because I want to let you know how they got here. See, y'all always want to talk about how do we get to the root of the problem? We need to community resource officers. We need to make sure that we having people that's not having children out of wedlock. This is that, this and that, this and that. Y'all always want to talk about what's at the heart of the problem, but you never really want to get to the heart of the problem and say, okay, well, this is how we got here. This is how we planned it. And we're going to play it a little bit differently. Y'all always want to get back to the heart of the problem, but you don't want to get to the heart, to the root of the problem. How did they get here in the first place? Let me say it again for the people in the back. How did they get here in the first place? Oh, you don't want to talk about that part? You don't want to talk about how the, the border was just open and it wasn't a big deal? And that they was just letting them in and it wasn't no problems, no trouble, no issues? None of that? How did they get here in the first place? How did they get here in the first place? I'm going to keep asking the question for the people in the back. How did they get here in the first place? Fox 5 here yesterday watching dozens of cops converge on Central Park in response to the recent this robberies. But today, not everyone seems to be aware of the increased police presence. Did you notice more cops today? We actually didn't. I, didn't. I haven't noticed any. No, I just walked into the park right now. The park is a large area. Those who work here understand the need to keep it safe. Pedicab operator Kenny Winter is on alert. You can arrest them all you want, but if, you, if you're not going to prosecute them, what's the point? He yep. welcomes the police presence, but thinks more needs to be done to curb the robberies and crime overall. He's right. We've reported NYPD statistics show an increase in crime in the park overall with a 200% increase in robberies specifically this year so far compared to last. These two young women are both 20, the same age as some of the recent victims we reported on as we're covering this young migrant robbery pattern. I feel like, I know, a police presence mostly makes me feel safe. And hearing that they're young people that are doing this, is that surprising to you at all? It, it is, honestly. I wouldn't expect that. Officials stressing Central Park is one of the most iconic locations in the world, and this will not be tolerated. Now, when it comes to those robbery stats, police say earlier in the year it was local robbers. The cops telling us they cleaned that problem up, and now it's this young migrant robbery pattern. They're 
Y'all better get on y'all P's and Q's. Somebody get Hassan Campbell out there to make sure that he stopped this migrant crisis. I heard that he's heavily in the New York streets out in the, <laughs> in the building. Let me read some of this.